guys, it's your girl Onana, and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. So in today's episode of Quarantine Entertainment, I'm going to be developing the story between Lady Pons and her husband, Lugio Cyclone. See ya. See, there's a reason why they say don't judge a case until you hear the other party's side though. There's a reason why they say don't conclude until you hear the other person's side. And by the way, this is a fundamental human right. It's called the right to be heard. So that's the reason why even when they catch you stealing, even if they catch you at gunpoint killing somebody, they still have to take you to court and ask you how do you plead? Do you plead guilty or not guilty? So it's a fundamental human right. Everybody has the right to tell us their own side of the story. So Lady Pons came out here telling us her own side of the story and I was like, wow, I was taken aback because this guy is out here calling her an adulterous woman, calling her all kinds of names and we didn't really know what to believe. So she's out here spilling all the tea, telling us what to believe, how exactly it went down. And that's what I'm going to be breaking down in this video. Stay tuned as we break this gist. So the dear Cyclone came out here telling us how Lady was an adulterous woman. Lady is cheating on him with Greg Bolobo and Rafaela Buem. And we were all like, oh my God, can Lady really do that? So we're all questioning like, what's going on here? Can somebody fill us in on this situation? Lady finally granted an interview for Daido Boy magazine. And this is what she had to say. So this interview actually took place through a phone call. The Edo Boy magazine called Lady Pons and they were like, hey lady, what's up? What's happening? And lady was like, I'm fine. Thank you for calling. Oh my God. At least somebody out there wants to know the truth. One person out there is interested in hearing my own side of the story. Because everybody out there is judging me. Everybody out there is calling me names without even knowing what's happening. So I appreciate you calling. Thank you a lot. And that's how the Edo Boy proceeded to ask the next question. So what's going on with your husband, Lugio Cyclone? Why is he out here balancing your private life in front of everybody what's really going on i need you to fill me in on this situation and that's how lady opened up and told him mm -hmm. i am a woman who has been deceived i am a woman who has been lied to my husband is a pathological liar he says karma he doesn't have a regular job and you guys know the deal with scammers now you know scammers today they can have fifty thousand euros and the next day they won't even have up to one euro in their pocket so that's the kind of life her husband is living he's dealing people he says karma according to her words so sometimes you have money and other times you will not have money so because of his lifestyle he's not able to meet up with his responsibilities as a man he's not able to meet up with his responsibilities as a husband so lady complains about her being the one who is footing the beast paying the rent, taking care of the kids, up to the level of food at home. The husband cannot even stock the fridge. He cannot buy basic necessities. So lady said she was tired of footing all the bills. She was tired of carrying all the financial responsibilities of the household and that she's done with this marriage. There's no reason why you should be with a man who cannot help you in any way. So according to her, the marriage is over. And that is the reason why she filed for a divorce. And then the idol boy was like, oh my God, I never heard this side of a story before. He's out here talking about giving you money, talking about supporting you. Anyways, let's move to the next Next question. So the magazine asks the next question, Lady, why is this guy calling you unfaithful? Why is he saying you're an adulterous wife? What's going on? And then Lady gave us this explanation. I was shocked. She said, I don't know why this guy is calling my name. We are no longer together. We agreed that we we're going to separate. We agreed that the marriage was not working. We agreed that this isn't what we're looking for. So according to Lady, they both agreed to separate amicably. And that is the reason why she went ahead to file for divorce because the marriage wasn't working. She sat him down and they had a heart to heart talk and they were like, mm -mm, this isn't working for us. So I think we should go our separate ways. According to Lady, she spoke to him and they agreed to amicably separate. And that's the reason why he went on to live somewhere else and she's living somewhere else. And that's why she filed for divorce. So according to Lady, she's a free lady in her mind. Why waiting for the divorce to go through? Why waiting for the divorce to be granted? In her mind, she's separated with her husband. So whatever she does or does not do with her life doesn't concern me in any way. And I was like, oh, it makes sense. It makes sense to some degree. They're no longer together. They don't live under the same roof. They filed for divorce. She's still waiting for the divorce proceedings to be concluded. So you can't really judge her. So she's like, I don't know why this guy is calling my name. We agreed to go our separate ways. We agreed to separate amicably. And to the best of my knowledge, we're no longer together. C'est fini. C'est fini. C'est terminé. I don't know why he's going around calling my name. All right. So this led to the magazine asking their next question. The third question was the magazine asking lady, hey lady, why is this guy going around saying he borrowed 10,000 euros? for you what happened can you explain this to us a lady was like oh my goodness i've never seen a man so shameless so despicable so we we're married for 18 months can you divide 10,000 euros for 18 months how much does that leave you with 
That's no money. So he's so shameless. Why is he talking about 10,000 euros? This is money that he was giving me 200 euros today, 500 euros tomorrow, 1,000 euros tomorrow. And he comes today to add all this money to say he gave me 10,000 euros. So the lady is like, mm -mm. He, the money was never given to me in bulk. He was just coming today, give me some more 200 euros, like a man should give his wife money for home upkeep and stuff like that. And it wasn't even enough, by the way, based on the bills I was paying. So lady is like, if I begin to talk about finances here, you guys will see that the guy is the one who owes me and i don't want to talk about finances because i'm a fee i'm just being fee a kang as she said she said i'm an a kang girl so i was raised better i was raised not to talk about finances so i'm not even going to open my mouth the money i've spent on this guy the money i pay the rent and he sleeps in the house i pay i stock the house with food and he eats freely i pay the bills the gifts i've been giving him the clothes the perfumes the watches and stuff i've been buying for him can I even tell you guys about that so ladies like i'm the one who is losing here i'm the one who has spent this guy has a building project in cameroon he could not complete it I am the one who gave him money to complete his house in Cameroon. Has he told you guys that? So Lily was like, I spent a lot on this dude. I don't even want to talk about money. Right now, I just want to move forward with my life and focus on my career. So when Lady said that, the guy was like, okay, moving on to the next question. How about the 30,000 euros he said he borrowed for you? What happened? And Lady started laughing like, I cannot believe this guy, the nerves of this guy. He never borrowed 30,000 euros from me. The lady in question, Aida, it's true that Aida is one of his contacts. I know Aida through him, but he never borrowed 30,000 euros from me. I borrowed the money in the presence of my lawyer. We sat together with Aida, we drew a contract, and Aida told me when to pay the money back, and I still have time to repay the money. I was shocked. This guy came out here saying he borrowed 30,000 euros for Lady Ponce's concert, for Lady Ponce's uh, uh, Olympia concert. And this is lady here devoiling all the truth. Lady is saying, I didn't borrow any money from him. He didn't borrow any money for me. I went to see Aida myself in the presence of my lawyer and we have a contract. So Lady even has receipts. If she wants to show the evidence today, she's going to show it. She has receipts. She went to see Aida by herself together with her lawyer. And that's how she took a loan of 30,000 uh, euros and her name is on the document. Her name is on the, on the document where she borrowed the money. So she's like, what is this guy saying? Why is he telling people he borrowed money for me? My name is on that document and I can show you guys anytime. So she made an agreement with Aida. She's going to pay the money. The first 300 people to buy their concerts for Olympia, all the money for the first 300 um, tickets for the concert is going to go to Aida. And that's how she's going to pay back the 300, uh, the 30,000 euros. So lady was like, this guy is such a pathological liar and he's out here to saving people and they are believing him nobody wants to ask my side of the question and that's why i thank you dado boy for contacting me i was shocked guys can you believe so the magazine also asked lady lady why does this guy keep calling your name on social media constantly why is he going live on facebook day after day calling your name why is he releasing posts after post calling your name you guys are no longer together what's his problem what's his deal and lady is like myself i'm baffled i don't know why he keeps calling my name but first of all it's because he doesn't have access to me i've blocked him on all social media platforms i've blocked him even on my phone so he doesn't have access to me he doesn't know how to reach me every time he tries to reach me i block him i don't want to talk to him even if he creates a fake account to reach me i block him i don't have nothing whatsoever to do with him so the thing that is killing the guy the thing that is paining the guy is the fact that every time lady doesn't talk to him every time lady doesn't respond to him he goes directly to facebook and he goes live and he starts crying like a baby dilly darling and stuff so lady is like that's what's going on every time he tries to reach to me through somebody else i just like mm -mm, i don't want to have anything to do with that negativity too much baggage i don't want anything to do with him so it aggravates the guy every time lady says i'm not going to talk to him he he runs to social media he starts making live videos so ladies like that's what's going on i have no business with this guy we had agreed to separate amicably that's why i went ahead to file for divorce in the first place i don't know why he gets aggravated when he hears things about me and when he tries to reach out to me and i don't pick the call that's what's going on i'm not talking to this dude i haven't spoken to him in a while and every time he tries to reach me i always block it from a distance and that's why he's annoyed that's why he's aggravated that's why he keeps mentioning my name in his post so the magazine was like lady what message do you have for people out here who are insulting you and calling you names what message do you have for people who are dragging you through the streets of social media what do you have to tell them and lady was like you know what i don't really have anything to tell them they can insult me all they want they can abuse me all they want luckily for them their lives are perfect me unfortunately my own life is imperfect and i'm going to be facing my imperfections head on but most importantly i'm going to keep going on with my craft whatever they say about me has nothing to do with me but i just feel bad for them because they are being deceived they're being deceived by a man who's out here lying and calling me names and they are falling for it 
So my husband is lying against me and they are believing it and they are calling me names without even verifying, without even hearing my own part of the story. And that's why I appreciate you guys for calling today. That's why I appreciate you guys for taking out the time to find the truth. Baby, please. That's why I appreciate all you guys are doing to get to the root of this matter. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for the interview. So thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I remain your girl, Onana Nation. Please don't go without hitting the red subscribe button below this video. Because I'm going to keep bringing you hot entertainment gist as they drop. Thank you guys a lot. As you can see, the little landlord is here. And uh, I can't really do much with him around. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you for subscribing. Goodbye. Can I finish this video, baby? Can I do this? Can I? <laughs> Alright, so what's going on? Baby, please. Can mommy complete this video? Please, boo.